Could this card be the best right back in FIFA 21 Ultimate Team? That's what we're going to try and find out in today's video. If you need to get your hands on some coins to improve your Ultimate Team, then check out the link in the description, igvault.com. And if you use the code Kieran at checkout, you'll get yourself a pretty nice discount. So finally, in Ultimate Team, EA have given Tavernier a headliner's item. I predicted him in both of my headliner prediction videos, and I was amazed to see him not a part of the squads, but literally on I think the last possible day of being involved in the headliners promo EA have done the right thing and they have given him one so uh, yeah it looks like a good card too and one of the best things about this item is um, Rangers are just you know like ridiculously hot right now in the Scottish League and it's very likely they will put four wins together so you're probably guaranteed an extra upgrade on this guy and uh, he does pick up quite a few informs as well so uh, there is a chance that this card just gets absolutely ridiculous so uh, as long as it's not too expensive I think it will be worth doing but um how much will it cost? Let's find out, shall we? So uh, you need an 83 rated squad with an inform and an England player, and then you need an 85 rated squad with an inform. So that second SBC will be quite expensive. Um, yeah, anyway, let's get these SBCs done. Let's get this card in at the club. So let's get the expensive one out the way first. This is what we're going to be submitting for the top form SBC. I do have Dybala, David Silva and Handanovic as untradeables. I got them from the play picks, so uh, that's why I've created this team. And obviously, I'm happy to submit that. For completing the top form SBC, we get ourselves a rare Electrum plays pack, which could maybe have some value in it, but knowing my tradable pack up this year, it will not. And for the England team, we are submitting this. We've got a La Liga Dutch League mix with also Harry Maguire in there for the England requirement. And now that is done, we can submit that and we can welcome Tavernier headline item into our club. And as I say, the card looks absolutely stacked. Hullet Club, he is now in all 80s. You love to see it. I really do hope he gets a dynamic image soon as well. There might already be one, but it might just not have loaded in to the game as we open pack number one which is an absolute shambles not even a board in that we get Kessie as our standout player and then pack number two which is of course that rare Electrum we can hope for maybe a board maybe wow really in that one that's uh that's shambolic my packs were horrific if you guys do this SBC I really do hope that uh your packs are much better than mine because yeah that sucked Okay, so this is the team we're going to be using the headliner item in. Obviously gets the hyperlink to Ryan Kent to get him that full chemistry. Although in this formation, actually wouldn't need a hyperlink, but we've gone for it nonetheless. Anyway, let's have a look at how chem styles affect this item. If I'm being honest, I think the anchor chem style is going to be the right one for this card as it stands. But um, that might change depending on how many upgrades this guy gets. Um, Shadow, I don't think would be a bad option either. That brings him up to being a 91 rated right back, which is pretty nuts. Um, to be fair, even basic makes him look really, really nice. Because this card is, you know, fairly well rounded, you can pretty much just use whatever chem style you want. But um, I think I think Anchor probably is the best right now, followed by Shadow, and then after that, probably um, Sentinel, because that gives a really big boost in the defensive department. So if you don't feel like he needs a pace upgrade, um, you can really, you know, upgrade those defensive stats and the physicals by using the Sentinel chem style. And I'm kind of like convincing myself to go with Sentinel now. I, I think that would actually be a really good option, but uh, we're going to go with Anker. In the comments below, let me know what chem style you would use on this item. Okay, now let's have a proper look at this card, shall we? Three star, three star, high medium wear crates. That is fine on a right back. Is it perfect? No, but it's definitely not a major negative. Um, five foot 11, so he's actually quite tall for a fullback, which is uh, quite useful if we come up against someone who is crossing quite a bit. So, in-game stats. Pace, fantastic, no issues there whatsoever. Shooting stats for a defender are absolutely brilliant. Um, you definitely could use this guy as a midfielder if you wanted to do so. I feel like he could do a really good job in that role. So instantly, you do have utility value with this card. Um, passing looks very nice once more. Really good short passing of 86. Very good crossing of 91. And a pretty good care of 93. So you do have a set piece taker in this item. Um, dribbling once more for a defender looks very, very good. His reaction stat is the only thing that's letting him down in that. That column but other than that 87 dribbling on a fullback is great so is the 90 agility and is the 88 balance so we're uh, really really good uh, dribbling department 
Um, in regards to defending, his stand tackle rating of 85 and his 84 slide tackle are actually very good. But um, his other stats aren't as great, but they're definitely not terrible. Although I would prefer better defensive awareness, but we have got to remember he is an attacking fullback. Finally, physically, the card looks outstanding. 99 stamina, brilliant. He'll last the full 90 minutes, no issue, and should be able to go into extra time without any problems at all. He's got 91 strength, which will be boosted to 99 thanks to the anchor chem style. He's got decent aggression of 77 and pretty good jumping as well. And considering he is 5 foot 11 with a good jumping stat, aerially, we shouldn't really have any issues with this card. So, on paper, I think this card looks absolutely outstanding. So, uh, yeah, let's get in some games and let's test this item out. Finally, we get into another match and we are up against this. It's uh, it's an interesting side, a couple of players off chemistry, but some very good players in this starting eleven. I have actually not come up against a lone player in months. And to see a lone Diego Carlos is uh, very interesting, especially in this division. Oh, what a pass that is from Kieran Tierney to bring Tavernier straight into the game. Ball's whipped in as well, but it's a good... Clearance by Varane. It was a decent ball in as well. Balls with Tin. Oh, Tavernier does just enough. Oh, a good bit of play. And we actually have brought Tavernier into play as well. And he's found Mbappe. And the space has opened up for him. And the shot wasn't the best. There's a chance now to deliver the ball into the box, which Mane unfortunately doesn't get on the end of. Balls with Tin. Tavernier deals with it. Um, I have to admit, not in not the most convincing fashion, but uh, got the job done. Well, there is the whistle for half time. It's 1 0 at the break, being a bit of a tight game. There has been some end to end moments, but there have also been some pretty dull moments. So uh, hopefully there will be more action in the second 45. But uh, so far, a positive debut from the right back. Here's Kent. Oh, he's put Tavernier into some space here. Can we get on the inside? We're going to try to. Oh, I tried to do too much there. Get Tavernier up against Werner here, holds him off. Now we're going to go for a run down this wing because there's a bit of space. Hoping Kent was going to make a run there, but uh, wasn't to be. And uh, Kerman will nab the ball, but we'll just take it straight back. Let's see that run from Mane, and Tavernier has absolutely punted that. A um, bit too much on it in the end, but uh, the idea was nice. Nice control there by Tavernier, who's now got a chance. Pokes the ball through for Awa. Who can we get the ball on the inside? We're going to try and we'll just wiggle through. And eventually, Diego Carlos with a clearance. I actually thought Mbappe was getting a tap in there. He's going to go long down this edge, but Tavernier is going to deny Sterling the first time. Sterling's going to get past him a bit with pace here, but as you can see, Tavernier's got enough recovery pace about him and makes a good challenge. He's gone down to Sterling on the wing, but once again, Tavernier is there, and he's actually made the perfect dispossession because Sterling has lost the, the ball off himself. And there is full time. We get ourselves a nice 2-1 victory. Bit of a close game, but uh, we did enough. We got the job done, so happy days. The rating doesn't quite show it, but it never really does with defenders. But uh, I thought the whole backline was pretty solid in that game. Tavernier was good both defensively and offensively too, which, to be fair, is what we expected from a card, um, especially with the stats that he has. Okay, after a couple of outings with this Tavernier card in the club, what is the verdict on the item? Well, uh, surprise, surprise, I think it's a very good card. It is a very very good right back option and uh, I get the feeling a lot of people will be trying different ways to get this guy into their teams and I feel like a lot of people will play this guy off chemistry as well and uh, maybe just go with a soft link off Joe Gomez and uh, yeah I think you'll see that a lot in a uh, foot champs this weekend to be honest and in the weekends going forward now this right back card is absolutely brilliant I think it's I think it's a really good card but one of the best things about this item is it does have a very good chance of getting upgraded. Like I said at the start, there's a very, very likely possibility that uh, Rangers will put four wins together. So just off the back of that, he should get a plus one. And uh, also, um, he's picked up a couple of informs already this year. Rangers, like I've already said, are in really good form. And there's a very good chance that he could pick up more informs as well. So... Uh, yeah, this card could end up being much higher rated in the next few months or even could get an upgrade in the next few weeks. We'll have to wait and see what happens. But um, anyway, how was this item in game, this 86 rated variant of him? I thought it was very good. Um, I liked his pace, obviously felt pretty quick, um, not just uh, without the ball, but also with it. Um, I liked his passing ability. I think he's a very good distributor, especially for a defender. Is one-footed though with the freestyle weak foot, but that's to be expected with a fullback, but uh, a better weak foot would have been quite 
quite nice. But um, his crossing ability is very good. And he's one of them players who, if you like to attack with your fullbacks, you're going to get a lot out of this card. Defensively, I don't think this guy is as good as some other right back options. But off offensively, he's as good as any in the game and probably better than all of them as well. Um, like I say, passing, absolutely fantastic. Dribbling, also really nice. I liked his agility. I liked his ball control. And he just felt good to control. He felt relatively easy, which was nice. And I think you'll have seen that in the clips with some of the dribbles that I went on. Um, uh, defensively, like I touched on, I think his defending is quite good, but I don't think it's as good as some other defensive fullbacks. That uh, showdown clip is probably a good example. I don't think his defensive abilities are as good as that card, but still his defense is very solid. Makes plenty of intercepts, which is nice. And they uh, also uh, made some really good tackles for me, which was obviously very pleasing with him being a defender. I will say this though, he does like to get forward. So if you want him to stay back, definitely use that stay back while attacking instruction on him otherwise he's going to join in with the attack and uh, you know make overlapping runs so there's something to note there finally finally physically sorry um brilliant like zero complaints there stamina lasted the full 90 minutes with ease for me even when running with him a lot and um, airily was very solid and uh, his strength in game feels great as well he very easily does push most wingers off the ball so uh yeah the guy certainly is quite the presence on the fields um all in all for right back i think it's a great card i really really do and if you can spare the uh, 180 or so k that it cost i think it's probably worth it because as i say this card is great now and it has potential to get even better this james tavernier item is essentially the fifa 21 equivalent of the fifa 19 lala when he got all them special cards which was a uh, yeah just absolutely nuts and um, one more bonus point to this card is the fact that it's a bit of a utility player as well you don't have to use him at right back he could do a very good job in other roles as well especially in midfield so uh, uh, yeah, good utility value with this item. Anyway, let's wrap this video up. Great card, and uh, as I say, if you can link him into your team, even if it's just with a soft link, I think this card is worth getting. Anyway, guys, those are my thoughts on Headliners Tavernier. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you have, drop a like rating on it. In the comments below, let me know your thoughts on this item. Also, let me know who you think is the best right back in FIFA 21. Thanks for watching, and as always, I'll catch you in the next one.